Having auditing in a large application is a crucial aspect. With JPA Buddy, implementing auditing becomes trivial. Let's see it in action. We have a user entity and an auditor aware implementation. The application will use auditor aware string impl to automatically set name of the current user into created by or last modified by columns of the audited entities. Now, let's add audit fields to the user entity. JPA Buddy warns us about missing at enable JPA auditing annotation in our project. Let's fix it. Next, JPA Buddy warns about missing audit entity listener for the entity and provides a quick fix for it. Here we go. The default spring data auditing entity listener was added. What's even more fantastic, JPA Buddy is able to detect auditor aware implementations in our project and suggest corresponding auditor type. Here we go. Now, let's test that everything works as expected. First, we mock the security calls and specify name that will be returned. Next, we create a new user and verify that created by and created date values have been set. Finally, update the user and make sure that last modified by and last modified date values have been set. Works like a charm. 